<clears throat> so you can already see why they're having water get into the area. You can see the block where it sits here. They've got the brick on the top. And of course, the block's hollow. When it rains, water comes down this hill and just pours into this area. Of course, fills up that block with water and then it comes through right here. And you can see the mud here on the floor of the garage or the carport. You can also see how wet it is along here. <clears throat> These are weep holes. So we'll have to seal that on the outside because we're gonna put a sump pump behind this wall. So let's review. You can see the problem here is very evident. It was only down a few a few feet here. Block, brick. This is typical construction, whether you're in Texas, California, Ohio, or here in North Carolina. You can see that they built a nice block wall, goes down all the way down to the footer, but then they just put a facade of brick. That means there's just one brick that gives you the other side, the face side. What's been happening is that water has been flooding up from the bottom of this thing and it pours down in through these holes and you can see all of them through here even into this brick all through here all the way down through here it's been just pouring through there because they did not fill the brick this is typical construction nothing's wrong with it however the mason should have filled these up and they started to but then they stopped so what we're going to do is we're going to mix up some mortar and then we're going to tuck point fill all this up real quick and then we'll be able to paint the wall um, with our liquid rubber. Okay, let's kind of review a little bit. If you look at this wall, you'll see this white substance right here. This is efflorescence. And you notice that it stops. You can see the line of it. It just stops right in here. In the corner, of course, there's some there. But look all the way across the wall. This is the holes I showed you on the other side. That water flooded from the bottom all the way up and then pour it into those holes, and that's why we see the efflorescence. So if you've got a wall, or even a brick wall, and you see this white substance on your wall, there's a lot of water in the block behind it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.